Alright everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, I didn't get too much sleep last night, but I feel okay, you know, I just had too much energy. Yeah, I, I, yesterday was also a workout day, so. Anyway, I had more stuff to do with the uh, coin swap, obviously, so just that's why I'm doing my video late. Uh, but everything's pretty good, so I didn't even have a chance to really look at the research, so we'll just do it in real time as usual. To my surprise, there are actually a lot of people actually watch this, so uh, yeah, that's fine. So today will be the same thing. Uh, all right, so where is the AN? Let me make sure I refresh this to make sure it get, gets away from the cache. All right, so Crux uh, has finished their thing. They've already announced, so here's the thing. So basically, uh, the cutoff will be June 2nd, right? And then if you have access to Crux, just put your coins in there. Oh, great. I forgot to turn off auto zoom, didn't I? I know I forgot something. Yeah, see, it was like there's just so much shit that I have to do. All right, there we go. So first things first is before June 2nd, and then after that, they have to close everything and start the swap process. Now, they got back to me this morning, so I mean, I literally just woke up like two hours ago or whatever. Uh, so they said they will try to swap as fast as possible, but it may take up to 14 days to actually complete the swap. So new 404 coin will start trading at the latest around June 16th. So that's 14 days after June 2nd. Um, Mitch contacted BTC Pop, and they will also do a swap as well. Um, they're not very active on their Twitter though, so uh, well, you're just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to just do this, uh, and that's why I'm also doing this video. But BTC Pop will also swap. I'm hoping they'll just make a Twitter announcement so that I can at least link to it here. Uh, they'll swap. If you cannot access Crux, just use BTC Pop. So same thing, cut off June 2nd, all right? Because they also have to take, and, and in fact, it turns out they have like 77, 78% of the 4-4 coin supply. So, yeah. Uh, they're, uh, actually, hold on. Uh, uh, we're, I have to tell Mitchell. Oh, God, there's been a problem lately with my keyboard. I don't know what's been causing it. The only thing that's changed is my... I recently started to install BlueStacks. Oh, God, now my fucking keyboard keeps dying. It's freaking annoying. I don't know what's causing it. I have to figure out what it, what it is. Yeah, that's still... Uh... Yeah. God, this is going to be so annoying. I cannot figure out what is causing it, because the only thing that's changed was I installed BlueStacks airstairs so I could play this game called Pixel Starships and then, you know, play my, uh, uh, get the free in-game ads. Like, it totally blew my mind about making, uh, well, we'll talk about that. It's like, oh, God, what was the site name? Let me see, I have to pull up my Chrome first. Game, top grossing iPhone games. We're actually going to take a look at this uh, page, too. Like, I now see what I've been missing out on, so we'll get to that. But first and foremost, uh, yeah. So, i got to figure out what's causing this fucking keyboard problem. All right, anyway, uh, BDC Pop will also, yeah, so blah, blah, blah. So, hopefully they'll have a tweet. If not, you know, just, just dump your coins there, and then on BTC Pop, it'll, you know, do whatever. And you'll be, uh, you'll be, you'll be good to go, so... Uh, yeah, so let me try that. Let me just simply turn off BlueStacks and see if that helps. Because I think what's happening with my computer is something is hooking into the keyboard and it's just messing up the keyboard. Uh, it could also be a Windows update problem too, but I literally just updated it, so I, I, I don't know. Um, well, it looks like they finally got better on whatever metric here. Uh, of course, Crux. GTD, or right, just got to refresh this page. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then just simply just have all your, you know, you want, obviously, you want the swap because we're not supporting the old chain because we have to get away from it. Uh, so, just double eight points of BTC pop. So, they have 78% of the supply. So, yeah, most, most people are obviously by default going to be switching to the new chain anyway. And of course, Crex will do their thing too. So, uh, everything's good. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it. And it looks like markets are up today, so that's all. Oh, my God. Uh, everything's breaking today. 
very frustrating. All right, so Bitcoin searches for this week have dropped down to 16, so, uh, yes. But after seeing like some of the stupid idiot comments on the 404 Discord, I'm not surprised. People are just stupid when it comes to money. And they're just like, oh, price is going down. The apocalypse is fucking here. That's why you're poor, because you're fucking retarded. Right? You're literally given the holy grail of investing, where no skill, no talent, no marketing. All you do is literally show up. I explained this in the Discord. But again, most people don't play mobile games or they don't play video games, period. So I don't understand any of this. You show up, you click the login button, you click to collect your rewards, and that's literally it. And the game goes on forever. All right. That's how proof of stake is played. You have a stack, it grows and stacks. All right. The coin grows. Then you take a little bit of that and you sell it on the open market for whatever you can get. Right. Or you want to just do what I usually do, which is, you know, you know, I recommend just whatever is in the market, but I mean, I do videos every day. So it's like, oh, it looks like it's actually going to go up here. So I put my sell order there and then you just collect your money. That's it. That's all you do. That's literally all it takes. And like the fact that people still lose money doing this, you know, unless they're brand new, right? Because that's the only exception because obviously they didn't have the two, three months time to get back their money. Or, you know, in the case of one guy who bought my book when I used to sell it, you know, he went into Cryptopia and then they got hacked. And it's, it's just, he literally was the victim of bad luck. But most people, they choose to get rich or they choose to stay poor. And that's exactly what's happening. And it's just so frustrating. All right. I don't know what my return on this is, but I can't tell you because it approaches infinity. Today it'll be 10,000%. And then tomorrow will be like 10,000, you know, 100%. You know, why? Because I'm constantly printing money out of thin air. All right, but there's only so much money you can print in a day before the whole thing, you know, collapses. So, in my 404's case, obviously, the max supply, I mean, I personally just kept it, but Mitch doesn't like having a, such a low price. So I'm like, all right, we'll just do a swap. I mean, I'm actually okay with it because, like, that basically means when this is all over and pretty much all the hard stuff's been done, we just have to wait. You know, it'll just be like the good old days, you know, 50, 100, 150 bucks a day, right? Just whenever Bitcoin decides to get off its lazy ass. And it's just like, it's just, it's, just, it's just so annoying. It's just so annoying dealing with idiots. Like, whatever, man. People people are poor because the 99% of the time they choose to be poor. And I'm just like, I'm just not going to hold their hand. All right. I mean, I'm already doing, I'm literally doing everything. All right. Like the rest, but you still have to do something. All right. You know, so and it's not even much. That's the, that's the insane part. I also forgot to open the window. Bitcoin dominance is at 67%. Uh, trade 24 hour is 130.4 billion. Let's see. All right. I just want to see how my keyboard's working because I need to figure out what's causing it. And again, I think it's actually BlueStacks. So uh, BlueStacks never used to do that. So I guess the new version of it must be screwing things up. Bitcoin's at 96, 93. So it's just going to continue to flatline. Litecoin, same thing, $45 essentially. So pretty much everything's pretty stable. It's not really going down, but it's not really going up, which is fine by me. You know, again, we take whatever gains we can get, if any. All right. Even having no gain would be fine because we know it's going to go up eventually. So, because, uh, I mean, it it's, depends, right? Because what we do is inherently unstable and very risky. So stability becomes much more important, right? Because as long as you have stability, then when it's like the it's like those standard deviation curves in statistics right you see those bell curves and shit our shit's like this you know it's like going right so when it goes down it sucks but as long as we have stability we can mitigate the damage of when it bottoms out but when it goes up to the top right that's when we make our money right so you know uh so that's how that, it, yeah so that's how it goes dog koi 316.3 million market cap uh, I mean, do I even want to buy a Hive and Steam? Yeah, Hive, same thing. Isn't, isn't, this, the pr isn't this the prices from yesterday? I just now realize this is the exact same price. Hold on. I think we're going to redo this. Yeah, so it was, well, maybe. Oh, God. All right, I'm not, okay. So 24-hour volume was actually $107.5 billion, which makes sense because interest went down this week. Bitcoin 97.21, Litecoin's 45.36. Okay, so it was using, yeah, this is why I hate Firefox. So Dogcoin is actually 317 mils. So That's not too much different from yesterday. Hive, where's Hive? 
thirty two point thirty cents good it's finally going up steam is up to twenty four point forty two cents uh, alright so both steam and hive are making good progress uh, alright so the mar stock markets are up today quite a nice chunk uh, Remel is almost back to three bucks so soon my stock market account will be back to like well not back but it'll thrive to 115 k hundred fifteen thousand dollars I mean with my stocks I don't really give a shit because stock it's stocks it's like you know I, I'm not gonna be able to influence the market right if I were Warren Buffett or Elon Musk well then yeah I probably have to be a little more careful because what I say will actually affect the market and that could be irritating <clears throat> but probably not I mean everyone knows what Warren Buffett invests in and it doesn't really affect the price ultimately that much in the short term yeah it's pretty volatile uh, uh mortgage app surge suggests home sales could rebound this is actually a very important uh fundamental so we're gonna look at that um mortgage app surge suggests home sales. oh what 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 are you doing oh it's because oh my god just go away there we go first this is why firefox is such a shitty browser i hate that i have to use it uh i i missed my brave already but you know like tunnel bear vpn doesn't work on brave not yet facebook it's ran rollout shops hits all-time high at 226.45 facebook didn't roll out shops what the fuck is shops see now that i'm actually making actual real content not being like you know a political commentator at least that's not the focus anymore you know now i'm actually seeing how the game of business and money is truly played uh okay i guess we'll... it says heidi chung yet again heidi what is the deal with this new uh facebook and instagram shops what can we buy on it spam food clothing what, what are the details Hey, Brian. Yeah, so it's going to be even easier for customers to buy things directly off of the Facebook platform as well as the Instagram platform. And that is sending the stock soaring more than 5%, hitting all-time highs today. Now, this isn't just something Facebook is using a convenient tool for customers. It's also a free way for small and medium-sized businesses to reach customers during this extremely challenging time that we are currently in. As we've learned this week, Brian, a ton of retailers really saying that e-commerce has been blowing up lately, has been a real pillar mm -hmm. for those companies' six recent successes. And Facebook and Instagram have... Yeah, there's a reason why these numbers, as we're going to look at, for mobile fucking games that are free, this isn't per day or week. This is per day, all right? Shitty PUBG Mobile makes $2.7 million gross per day, all right? Per day. Uh, that's like tens of. That's almost like a, like a hundred thousand dollars an hour. How would you like to make a hundred thousand dollars an hour off of playing fucking making video games? had these marketplace features for quite some time now, but this is a really streamlined approach to be being able to shop on these platforms. The shops will be powered by third party services such as Shopify. And while the service is gonna be free to sign up, the idea is that it creates a huge opportunity for Facebook when it comes to ads paints as well as a lot of other services that the company provides ceo mark zuckerberg saying in a live stream that the company has seen a lot of businesses that have never had online services actually sign up for this mm. service wall street analysts are actually really bullish on this as well saying that this is yet another way to unlock a monetization tool for facebook and could potentially be a catalyst for the company in the fourth quarter. Shops is already available on Facebook right now and will be available on Instagram this summer. And I have to Facebook shares have been really strong this year, outperforming the broader market up some 5% so far, Brian. All right, cool stuff. Howdy, Chum. Holy shit. This is actually a really big deal. This is a huge game changer. You know, if Google, like now that Google lost Joe Rogan to Spotify, I think Google doesn't care. They got back PewDiePie for of all people. So, um, yeah, if Google did the same thing, yeah, that could actually take out a nice market share chunk out of Amazon too. Like Amazon's still the king of the everything store, but you know, Facebook is aren't they're not stupid, right? Facebook knows what they're doing. They just happen to be more totalitarian, especially towards their customers. So that still means that Amazon will still be on top, but. Anything that puts pressure on all the big tech companies on each other, which also allows us normies and grassroots people to kind of get the value and benefit from it, it's just a good thing for everyone. But this is a huge deal.
This is actually a major deal. Um, if I had spare cash, maybe I would have bought Facebook stock. But I mean, Facebook was always an expensive ass stock, so this is actually a really big deal. I'm actually pretty happy about it. Trump could stuff for sort of in November. Yeah, if he doesn't fix the uh, coronavirus, yeah. But I mean, he's already on top of it, so I mean, he already knows what needs to be done. Thank you, Freddie, for Barron's rule ease to allow new mortgages. Uh, well, I'm always into real estate ultimately, so we're going to take a look at that. One billion, 150 billion pile of frozen loans starts to worry U.S. banks. Uh, yeah, a lot of people are doing, yeah, so maybe you stupid fuck should, you know, reopen the fucking country, right? The problem is a lot of globalists also want to keep the shutdowns going. So there's a, I think there's actually a conflict going on right now. Uh, Dow Lance, you know, long after K, this is from 18 hours ago, da, 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 da. All right. Well, whatever it is, everyone's going up. So, in fact, is Tyson going up too? Yes, Tyson's going back up too, and they have shut down plants, which I haven't even bothered to check, but I know it's going to reopen. So, because the warm weather's getting warmer. Yeah, but people are really getting anno uh, annoying with the masks and shit. It's really pissing me off. The only good thing about it is when I, at least when I'm in a crowd, I know that my chance of getting a cold or flu are going to be significantly lower. So, yeah. Anyway, JMC coin, same as always, six to eight. 404 coin there's our beautiful little thing it's actually two to three there's a lot of volatility a lot of panic but really just people are just being retarded so you know the, just 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 go i just want them to go away all the stupid people that are in our 404 and jmc or whatever i want them to leave just just they're too stupid to get rich i don't want them around you or me i definitely don't want them around me all right because i'm not moving in with my mom and dad ever again all right i want to stay rich so that means not being around financially retarded people 63 to 67 but to be honest you could definitely get 69 or 70 like there's this asshole that likes to just do a big sell order i think he just wants to push the price down and intimidate people so i don't know but it eventually goes away but yeah i would say 63 to 73 i don't really i really just want to go back to play my pixel starship game so yeah uh compound coin has seen a dramatic increase it's at six thousand and ninety five hundred uh, i'm not sure what it is it could be possible that people are dumping 404 and going to compound coin that could be it uh but either way i mean everything's going very stable so yeah because i always figured that 404 coin we didn't make any changes would just remain like compound coin right it'll just go down really low but eventually it will hit some sort of price plateau but a bitch isn't comfortable with that, and quite frankly, I'm okay with just changing, upgrading things too. Um, so, yeah. Uh, we already went over the swap, right? Uh, nothing new here. Let's see. Bitcoin got it for how long? Retail investors branched to altcoins, 60% of Coinbase. Okay, I do want to read this. See, this is what I've always been talked about, right? And it's what always happens. People want Bitcoin, then it's too expensive or hard to mine. Then they're like, hey, let's look, let's buy these copycat coins. And that's exactly what we're seeing yet again. So we're gonna read this again. Uh, Trump, did I even hit the refresh on that? Bitcoin analysis, some air outage, Spark Snow, uh, Grayscale buys series are all Bitcoin mining the last three months. Grayscale is buying a lot of Bitcoin. Yeah, but Grayscale is going to make a shit ton of money though. Monster 3D processed on Bitcoin SV. Yeah, and who's going to want to store all that shit? But some people like it, so all right, kudos to them, whatever. Coins reels cause a recent outage. A bit peak Bitcoin crypto trading mode. All right, so looks like Coinbase went down. <laughs> Satoshi, Nakamoto's original Bitcoin site set to go through major trend. Okay, I don't care. Uh, new film, Cryptopia, takes every man approach to Bitcoin blockchain future of the internet. Uh, I think I'll pass. Uh, Foreign Finite Direct joins Libra as Facebook's crypto project pushes to silent. Oh, shit. Ah, man, that's Zuckerberg. See, Google was smart. They hired antitrust people to as there that, eric schmidt is actually um as i read from the everything store uh he was actually primarily hired because of his knowledge about how to deal with antitrust lawsuits that's why it's so hard to sue google now facebook and mark zuckerberg are doing the same exact thing so we're going to definitely read that because believe it or not i probably have to worry about this someday too you know i'll have my success after seeing this yeah i'm going to become a billionaire for sure i just don't know how long it'll take but i can definitely 
Do you give me a hundred? I make a hundred. If my company's making a hundred thousand dollars per hour, what do you think I'm gonna fucking do with all that money? All right, I'm gonna take over the world. <laughs> all right, Red Bull sponsors these shitty fucking StarCraft Two and uh, Age of Empire tournaments for like fifty grand, and everybody likes to watch it, right? You know what I would do is I would just have that shit every fucking couple of weeks, all right? I would have my e-tournament league. Oh, God, there's so many opportunities, but I need the money, and then I need the people. Now, I can get either one, all right, because it's like a cycle, but it's just like I got to figure out how to enter that cycle, so. Ugh. Which means, I mean, the problem is I really hate coding, all right? I mean, I'm doing okay with it, but, I mean, there's, it's just so hard. But the good news is it looks like I can actually start outsourcing very well using Fiverr, and, you know, like, if I need to, the city building kit guys. So theoretically, if I make enough, if I just simply focus on making money, which is obviously what we're doing here, right? I could just simply just hire, just outsource everything. And then eventually, you know, I'll get my big, because not only do I like this game, Pixel, oh God, let me show you, Pixel Starships. Not only do I like this game, but I really like, um, it's on Steam. It's, it's on it's on Steam and mobile. Um <sighs> Google Play. I want the Google Play page for this. All right. This thing has ads up the wazoo. Now, because Android has a set limit of like 40 ads a day, because that's what Unity Ads says. Um, that's what people are saying. But I mean, when I click the ads, it says Facebook ads. So I'm not sure what's going on. But either way, um, oh, I have to click this button. Uh, that's a cool looking ship, actually. But either way, this game makes money hand over fist. This thing has like, um, oh, I didn't say, but this thing actually had, which it's just supposed to say millions of downloads. It has like 1 million plus downloads. Anyway, the point is this thing makes a lot. I saw a video from August, 2019 on YouTube yesterday, 700 impressions, not the little views, but the actual impressions. Cause sometimes the ad doesn't load. So it seems to be about 70% out of a thousand clicks, 70% of the people do watch the ad. So that means a 30% failure rate to deliver for whatever technical reason, you know, spotty internet. It's basically 700 impressions, $1. So you got like, you know, um, two point. So if I had a hundred thousand people watching 40 ads a day, go over here all right see this is why i'm fucking rich and a lot of you who are actually able to actually yes i accept you know, the deal with the devil all right the point is there's a reason why i'm getting rich and if you're smart you'll do the same thing or adapt material to your lifestyle because maybe some of you want to go like snowboarding or something right and i could care less about snowboarding uh yeah that's where we're going to get rich all right um two point Eight million. So let's say we have 2.8 million impressions and we divide this by 700 <clears throat> because 700 impressions equals one dollar. We make four thousand dollars a day just from people watching those stupid ads. All right. Assuming they watch all 40 ads. And on top of that, there are ways around the unity ad limit so you can watch even more ads. So you could actually make a lot of money off of that. And that's just off of ads. It doesn't even include microtransactions, buying in-game purchases, and all that other shit. That's why I want to make all my games free to play, make experience. So basically, I want to basically try to make it as close to like the Riot Games business model, where everything's free to play, and you can progress through everything. You never have to spend a cent, but you still, but because people love your game, you know, they'll actually just hand over money to you. Now combine that with ads, free to play monetization. Yeah, and then because Epic. Game, and for some reason, the Epic Game Store and Steam just doesn't allow in-game ads either. Like, they easily could do it. Because a lot of the mobile ads that I get, they actually tell me to go to a website. How is that different on a PC? <laughs> like, there's literally billions of dollars just being thrown away, even by the big companies. That it's just like, wow. It's just mind-boggling. And even if they take my idea, I don't really give a shit because then I'll just put my game on their platforms and then get the benefit of it. In fact, I don't have to do anything. I just install their SD, SDK kit, software development kit, SDK. And then they just do all the hard work for me. I just, just, just get free money, right? I just get free money or essentially free money. 
right? Like nobody has to lose. That's why it's so frustrating to see people get poor when it does, does, it's not the case. You're not living in like 19 fucking hundreds or even the 20th century for that matter. All right, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait. Visa CEO says payment giant supports Bitcoin, crypto exchange, and coronavirus digital currency. To, uh... Okay, so Visa is now supporting crypto. All right, so yeah, everyone's getting into crypto. Shit, this could be the final bull run that's easy to predict. Maybe this will become the next big bubble. I don't know. Uh, FEMA teams, governor, set you free, I tell you, say, uh, central, so central Michigan has some sort of flooding, as uh, right for a transportation loan from, uh, D -D -D -D. so he gives up to you, uh, gets Alfred Mayor Pete to quit, uh, okay, so he's basically just, blah, blah, I don't really care, actually, I just want to see anything about coronavirus stuff. Uh, now that our country is transitioning back to Canada, I'm considering rescaling the G7 and assembling at the later Canada, the Iron Marathon will be beginning the car. will be a great sign to normalization. I don't care about the G7. So, yeah, I think they can send out a legal vote by mail ballots, creating a great vote for for the US and the other Canada. If they do, I think I can hold up the funds of the state. Sorry, you must not cheat in elections. Uh, first of all, they don't really care. Some wacko in China just recently blamed everybody other than China for the virus. Which has now killed hundreds of other people. Please just say this dope that it was the incompetence of China, nothing else, that did this mass worldwide killing. Yeah, that's true. I actually normally wouldn't want to retweet some of like this, but this one we actually do have some particular person to blame, so we'll just uh, put it all in this. Uh, also, what is China doing? It's like, like China really just thinks if they spam it long enough, they'll believe. I mean, the problem is they make a lot of money, too. I mean, I mean, how many video games are owned by... T I mean, I, uh, like, Tencent also owns PUBG Mobile, too. Like, they fucking own everything. Uh, my God. Uh, like, China's definitely not helping things, that's for sure. And it's pissing me off, because everyone's just going to assume all Chinese people are like that, and then we get dropped kicked in the face, right, by racist, asshole, non-white minorities. So far, we haven't had any white people attack us, but... You know, uh, I mean, who knows? I mean, actually, right now, white people in general are protesting the shutdown, which is the correct move. So that's kind of basically what's happening. Wear a mask. Oh, my God. Now we're having contests for wearing masks. This thing is just pissing. This, is, this whole fucking coronavirus shit is just pissing me off because people are fucking so retarded. Uh... Good, good, good. Blah. Passion, so I corporate, it's 2000. I'm proposing. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Final. Okay, so nothing new here. Um, everything's reopening. 6 7. Lots of 7 7. So that's good. So, New York City, I would say sometime in June, New York City should be able to reopen. Because this thing's going to rapidly sh shoot up past 30%. Because the weather is warmer. So, no one gets. I mean, how many people really get sick during the summer, right? All right, so let me see. We've got a bunch of things I want to read. So uh, let's see. State of Survival is actually listed here, too. Uh, State of Survival Zombie War. They make $93,347 a day. Uh, now, this is now this is uh, microtransactions. This does not include avenue uh, 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 ads. Uh, if I want to... Wait, let's see. So... Okay, so maybe this includes ad revenue views as well, because I'm not sure if they, if, if this is just non-ad watching, and it's just the microtransactions, and then the ad revenue is separate, or this is their actual total amount from everything, including ads. And then of course, if I subscribe, I can find out what the ad revenue is and blah, blah, blah. So let's just say this is probably their total, uh, total cash from everything, including ads, all right? Roblox makes 2.3 million, wow. Candy Crush Saga. So Blizzard, you know. See, I think I think I think Candy Crush is owned by Blizzard, but King, who is King? Because I could have sworn Activision Blizzard owns Candy Crush. Uh, they're located in Sweden. Yeah, there's actually a lot of programmers in Sweden. Interestingly enough, there's a snapshot. They make a lot of. Revenue detail for King. Total revenue is $5 million a day. Jesus Christ. These people... See, this is what I always... Ugh, this is what I'm missing out on. Alright, so the point is, is like, just... just 
Just wow, just look at like there's literally like tons of dollars here. All right. And I'm pretty sure PC games can do the same exact thing. It's, it's just mind boggling to me that people don't do it. So, all right, very well. Former FinCEN director joins Libra as Facebook's. Uh, I don't want to read the whole thing. Uh, Facebook crypto Libra has appointed ex FinCEN director Robert Warner to serve as general counsel. Uh, he served as director of FinCEN for 10 months in 20, 2006. Warner was an extremely regular role, will be tasked with helping Leroy Crenshaw go is accused of or says to our trial department. Okay, so he's already sound, he's already touting the Facebook line. Yeah, so uh, Libro is going to be definitely become a reality. Um, so whoever this, what's his name, Robert Warner? Yeah, Robert. So this Robert Warner guy is going to definitely just do for Amazon and Google, or he's going to do the same thing that Amazon Google did, which is hire antitrust people uh to deal with this shit so uh yeah all right very good very good i guess libra's gonna be a real thing uh thank freddy for barons rule ease to allow new mortgages um hmm. yeah okay can I make three? uh okay uh i've been under gun control since the ddd they could trace the trigger with made it clear that part should fit okay good shit uh Said that Tuesday, borrows will be allowed to new loans three months after the forbearance parents ends. Oh, this is a refinance thing. Oh, okay. Uh, they're, I thought they meant actual new mortgages. Yeah, because I was like, hey, because I, I can take out a 0% interest loan and I'm just going to buy real estate for free. <laughs> so, no, it's, it, it's just a refinance on their forbearance loans. That's what it is. I mean, it's still good, but. Right after surge. Suggest home sales rebound amid panic. After flash rate increases in more have claim appears, the housing market could be in a cut of the coronavirus. Uh, purchase applicator group six for last week, purchase of E. Uh, purchase like two is not just one off last year. Improved. Yeah, people's, the demand is there. Everything is there. The problem is we're just telling people that they can't do anything. There is this fucking viral video of a Costco employee taking away a, a guy in Costco who just would not wear a mask. I understand why I did it, but it just makes them look like fucking assholes, right? And that's the other thing, too. They're ordering small businesses to shut down, but big businesses can continue operating. Like, it, it's like it's clearly an attack on middle-class Americans, right? So, um, yeah, it's also an indirect attack against white people, too, right? Uh, so far, though, interestingly enough, they've been, I think I, they've been kind of muted about not pushing the white people too much. Because again, people are starting to see, uh, like they're really starting to see a large amount of true anger and pushback. So, the morning of application crew 60D, government pretty allow applicant now fly higher than a year ago, which is in current turnaround, the weakness in the past two months. Da, 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 da. One reason we're going to do are we're largely spare the worst effects of the government to curb the outbreaks. Low earning households who are more like a are made up the bulk of the layoffs. More than half the renters. Yeah, so the poor get poor. Then the rich get richer, and the people in the middle kind of just kind of struggle. Uh, but it was skewed towards renters. Interesting. So, okay, where's the help? When is housing coming back? Um, so, even in the hardest hit areas, including in New York, we've seen extra applications for mortgages. We will go in my there were 49 cars on me, 11 to me, so anyway, it's up 40% from the week prior, blah, blah, blah. States where cars are opening up quicker, such as Florida, Georgia, are also poised to see some biggest purges of the coming weeks. Uh, God damn, why is everyone going to Florida, man? By the time I move there, it's going to be all fucked up, man. We're also seeing in this uh, local economy, financial, blah, 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 it's very managing, Pelican team, blah, blah, blah. Much more diminished access to housing. That be, uh... Well, the other place got the last eight week, uh, banks are requiring 700 or above FICO scores. Uh, they have shifted 20% or more down payment. Uh, even shifted. I was prepared to pay 30, 40, 50% down payment in my case. All right, because I, I don't play the small shit. I play the big boy shit, all right? And yeah, I definitely qualify well above. Uh, I don't want to actually. I don't want to say what my credit score is, but it's extremely high. It is way above seven hundred. I'll tell you that. Whereas before a FICO score six fifty, blah 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 blah. Wow. Wait. What? 
Whereas before, the average FICO was 650 and down payments for a FHA loan was 3.5%. We RCP that have much more dirtish access to housing. Uh, but I don't know if these things are related. Eh, oh well, whatever. Um, I mean, that's probably for a normal home. It's not for commercial real estate. But either way, yeah, this thing's already making a comeback. I'm satisfied with the progress. All right. Uh, retail event. Where are we at? 35 minutes. Retail investors branched to all coin. 60% of coin based customers start with Bitcoin. Only 24% stick exclusively. Uh, I'll show that crypto are investing in alt altcoins. Display of Bitcoin security. Data for going to show that customers at least five crypto purchases. Roughly 60% of them buy Bitcoin first, but only 24% remain low. Yeah. Everyone just wants crypto. Because again, what <clears throat> again, which coin is more likely to shoot up a hundred X, right? Which is ten hundred X is ten thousand percent. Ten X is a thousand. Yeah, uh, ten thousand percent Bitcoin or Litecoin, right? It's a lot more believable for forty five dollars to become a hundred X, that means forty five grand, than it is for Bitcoin to also go up a hundred X or become uh a little uh, nine hundred and seventy two thousand dollars. All right. You know, the numbers just start getting so large that you know believability is what it comes down to. All right. As, <coughs> assuming the fundamentals are correct. Yeah, I almost choked on my saliva there. Yeah, I haven't seen any issues with my uh, key. Oh, God, it really, I think it really is blue. St oh, God, it sucks. That means blue stacks is going to keep fucking my keyboard. I mean, I guess how badly do I want my free to play ads, right? 75% of coin based customers eventually buy other digital assets rather than Bitcoin. Uh, I mean, I guess I could actually install my cell phone. Uh, customers only five percent are just stick exclusive Bitcoin total over Hmm, okay. Coinbase says that in general, BTC is a blue chip asset that's running on challenge. But Coinbase alternative are increasingly gaining traction, could be very well. One is largely psychological. As people feel good about their initial crypto investments, Bitcoin branch on to find other possible winners, as in the 2017 bull run. <clears throat> yeah, you know why that happens? It's the exact same reason why all these stocks go up, too. The markets are up, everything goes up, too. A rising tide uh, floats. Flying tide floats and raises all boats, but that same tide also sinks all the boats when the tide goes down. So it's the same exact effect here. So some things never change, which is perfect. Because the last thing I, it's very hard enough coming up with new shit. The last thing I want is like you know more volatility when it comes to making money. You know I just want to show up and collect my checks, right? Or rather, in my case, I just want my direct deposits into whatever. <clears throat> you know my bank account. Come results of possible is grip and fear, blah 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 blah. We took permanent pressure to the equipment to be so because dollars are twenty thirty nine higher taxes and get D yeah, blah blah blah. Okay, I don't need to read the rest of this shit. Um uh, Okay. Uh they're they're just repeating what they had said already. Okay, so we need a thumbnail. There's actually a lot of really good shit. Um You know what? I'm gonna actually make this the thing. So if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my um, <clears throat> YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page so we can continue uh, growing this channel. All right. So we covered a lot. Um, I don't know. I just have to make sure. I don't know. It's all just you know, the YouTube description is going to be ridiculous today. So uh, I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Uh, things are looking good. Fundamentals continue to get stronger. Uh, reopenings continue. Trump is basically in full re-election mode, so that probably means the worst is well behind us now. Um, and yeah, you know, it's just, we're just waiting for the bull run. So you know, just just enjoy the ride. In the meantime, I have to continue uh, my coding skills so that I can <clears throat> one day see my game company listed over here. You know, it's going to make a shit ton of money. Uh, yeah, actually, how much is it to, <clears throat> uh, let me see, how much is it to subscribe? See, I'm, I already kind of like this site, because not only does it look sleek, but the fact that it's actually, uh, not that, they don't push the subscribe button that much. 
Uh, oh my god. No wonder they don't do it. It's actually because they're actually... Uh, yeah, this is specifically designed for people. This is designed for game companies. This isn't designed for normal people. So, um, <clears throat> the app economy. So, you know what? I'm just going to go with the free plan. Right? I'm not paying these guys. Even LoopNet, which is the, these guys, LoopNet.com, right? These guys don't charge nearly as much. And if they do, they deal with commercial real estate exclusively. So, you know, and this is the site I'm going to be using. I mean, I've, I've seen the Peter Harris guy say, don't use this. I don't give a shit. I'm going to use this. All right. I just want to go, just go out. Look, if a property is that good, you know, it's, I mean, I'll eventually get something. All right. Just, just want to fucking buy something here. So anyway, but I mean, maybe if I, but if I do want to score like a pretty good building for cheaper, yeah, I could call up various real estate because real estate agents, once they find out that I'm actually serious and I have money, it's like, yeah, you know, if I get a good deal and it falls through, would you like it, Johnson? They're like, yeah, I'll take a look, you know, <clears throat> but I don't want to deal with uh, racial tensions and like, you know, ghetto properties, you know, I'm willing to pay a little, I'm willing to obviously pay more money for like a better neighborhood. I think they call it, um... Uh, a is triple A, so B and C. D's are like the ghetto neighborhoods, so I don't want any D's. C's is, you know, it depends. That's why I'm going to have to take a look at the area. And, of course, I'm going to be looking at the demographics data, too, and the crime statistics. So, you know, um, that's why in real estate, um, yeah, uh, you know, that SJW shit doesn't fly at all, all right? It, it doesn't fly. Anyway, um, uh, oh yeah, this was the thumbnail. So I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, BTC Pop will now be doing the uh, swap as well. Uh, I don't know. They're not active on Twitter, so I don't know if they'll announce it. And I've asked uh, Mitch to you know, ask him to do that. So we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin. So remember, just go to the Bitcoin Talk thread. Here's all the updates. The cutoff is June 2nd. So uh i don't know if on the day they'll shut it off i think that's what they'll do so before then before then that's when you want your coins in the wallet so they can freeze the wallet and then you know take a record and then give you the uh, coins when they do the swap um so if you can't access crex btc pop will do it and that's where the vast majority of coins are anyway so <clears throat> and it's free and they're totally cool people they're totally cool people <clears throat> All right. See you all tomorrow. This is the uh, the the thumbnail.